we are about five thousandths of an inch off. I've been trying, I've been trying, and I've been trying. I'm cutting that fucking band right now. <laughs> okay, moment of truth here. I'm really a scared <laughs> that I cut too much off uh, out of the chamber. So this right here shouldn't hit. And, and uh, my math, I was trying to cut 30 thousandths from this squish, which means 67 thousandths of an inch is where I should be right now on my, with measuring my squish. However, I turned that thing on and it just immediately started sucking my cutter in and I'm like, ah, I have no idea where I'm really at. So, <sighs> so this probably isn't going to touch at all. Yeah, no touchy, no touchy. So we got to double it up, but I figured it wouldn't because this is only about 60 thousandths of an inch. So. If it's supposed to be a 67 thousandths, it wouldn't touch, you know? Remember, it's supposed to be at 67 thousandths. And I'm at 92 thousandths. <laughs> Holy free jolies. I'm a little sick to my stomach. Ooh. I'm just not getting the best read. You really want, you really need to really squish it so that, so that you can just know where. To put your calipers, which I think that got it this, this time. Yeah, 92 thousandths. So that means I would need to take 70 thousandths off of the base, which that's fine. I mean, that's, that's completely fine. But I wonder oh, how far I have to go before I get into the ring land or the, the rings. I mean, it looks pretty. It looks pretty. It does. I think the right thing to do in this moment would be to take that piston off of there and shove it down inside this with the ring on that way we can see if the ring is going to catch on the ring of death all right let's see if i went too far Yay! Yes. Okay. So how much I cut out of it? What is it? Uh, I cut way too much. Way, way too much. Way too much. But we'll see how she runs, you know? We'll see how she runs. What we'll go ahead and do is since it's going to be so tight up in there, we'll aim for closer to 30,000 squish 
to relieve some of the compression uh, because I cut 55 thousandths out of that squish, which is way more than I should have. Um, but let's see what let's see what comes of it. Let's see. Now we got to cut uh, about 60 thousandths off the base of this. All right, so we're sitting here, we got it all like put back together. See that? Almost completely pegged out to 200, um, which it's actually probably about 185 to 190, which is about perfect. About as perfect as you can get, to it, for me, my opinion, okay? I know that there's a lot of guys out there that uh, like uh, really high compression. And, um, well, I'm not one of them. So, I mean, yes, 185, 190 is fracking high compression. Uh, but what I'm talking about is a lot of folks like to go up into 220, 230, 250 pounds of compression. I don't. Um, I feel like the saw fights against itself and, uh, slows it down. Okay. It might work in a, to, to plow through kind of thing. Um, I don't know. Anyways, we're all put back together almost completely. And, um, I've just got to do the muffler mod now and... See how that goes, you know? So, next video should be Muffin for Mod. Uh, you guys are probably gonna wanna know what I did. Uh, I didn't even, I didn't even fill it, finish writing it out. Uh, um, all right, so I took, by complete accident, a shitload out of the combustion chamber more than I wanted to. Uh, because as soon as I fired up my lathe, I didn't realize it, but that screw was engaged and it just started threading it in. And, oh God, that was so scary. But anyways, I went ahead and disassembled that screw feed because I don't want to ever do that again. <laughs> if I need it to do something else, I can, I can easily engage it. So, but anyways, that was a, almost a very co costly mistake. But I think that we completely, it's fine. What I did, uh, since I took so much out of the combustion chamber, uh, and I didn't want to take that much out, I uh, left it with a really heavy squish. We're at 32 thousandths on the squish, um, which is going to be great. I still made excellent uh, compression, and if you can make that compression with that big of a squish, someone is here. My guess is it's male. Okay, yeah, that was UPS with my 357 back from Super Dave. Uh, all right, so, anyways, where were we at? I was telling y'all something that was of critical importance. I just know it. Anyways, um, yeah, I had a, a builder telling me one time, he said, your squish is killing you. And uh, I was like, what? Everybody talks about 20,000 squish, 20,000 squ squish. It's like a bragging point. And he's like, yeah, everybody's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy who said it was the guy that everybody is kind of sort of aspiring to be like. So anyways, I've definitely had major good, good juju um, getting fantastic results with a tight 
squish band. But ever since I started doing it his way, which is be more, just be more lenient. Uh, try a 25 thousandths, maybe 28 thousandths. As long as the compression's there, the looser tolerance squish, I feel like it is really helping. It revs faster, zing, 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 right? Now you still have to have your compression. So that means you still gotta, you still gotta cut the chamber and do all that fancy schmancy stuff. But do you have to run that? Like, le okay, let's put it this way. All right. In order to get your 185 pounds of compression, that requires you taking 40 thousandths out of the band and setting your squish to 20 thousandths. Well, if you took 45 thousandths out of the band or 50 thousandths out of the band and had your squish looser at 30 thousandths, you can still get your 185 pounds of compression. You just are doing it with looser tolerance on your squish. And what that does is it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what it does, but if I like it better and he's the guy to believe if you're going to believe anybody, he's the one he's building some of the fastest saws in the history <laughs> of our world. <laughs> so yeah, he, you don't really question it whenever, whenever he gives little grains of knowledge, you go, uh, yes, I thank you. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, where was I? Oh yeah, I was, the, the, the numbers. We're at 76 on the intake, 103.5 on the exhaust. Uh, oh, well, we, we don't want to tell the truth. I, I, I promised I would keep the transfer thing to myself. So, cause it, Now, this is everything that I've done here comes with a lot of help from a lot of different people, three different people, <laughs> three different people, four different people. OK, so technically it's mine. I didn't follow anybody's specific formula, but I had knowledge given to me by four different dudes about what I did with this saw. And one of them didn't want me to tell what he did, does with the transfers. So I'm not telling. Anyways, but I will say this, they're staggered, right? And they're, they're staggered pretty healthy. We'll see if it works, you know? Um, all right, that's enough for this video. The next one, it'll be up and running. I got, I got to do a muffler mod now.